Welcome to the 2021 Cumberland College Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Cumberland College is situated in Treaty 4, 5, and 6 territories and upon the homeland of the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, something that has very much influenced our college's history and development and will continue to be important for our collective future. My name is Bobby Gray, Vice President of Academics and your MC for today's event. On behalf of everyone here at Cumberland College, we would like to thank you for joining us and let you know how much we appreciate your understanding as we approach things differently this year. One thing that has not changed is how much you deserve this moment. You have worked hard and you have exceeded despite all the challenges that have been presented to you in your program of study and also in your life as a result of COVID-19. We encourage you to review our Class of 2021 graduation presentation material whenever you would like with whomever you wish. It is truly a timeless piece that we are living through a historical event. Graduates being acknowledged here today are all those students who have completed their program in the 2020-21 academic year. Following today's ceremony or at a time that works best for you and those you love, we encourage you to take a picture with members of your household, post it online, and tag Cumberland College in it. We would love to see your faces and cheer you on from here. During today's graduation, you will hear traditional graduation messages from the president of the college on behalf of the Cumberland College Board and congratulatory messages from our respective MLAs and college elder, followed by the honor song. Program chairs will bring greetings on behalf of your program areas with your instructors introducing you to honor all you have accomplished. Following closing remarks, Iron Swing will honor all graduates with the victory song, concluding the 2021 virtual graduation event. It is a moment to remember, and we are only too pleased to share this moment with you and acknowledge how far you have come. At this time in the program, I would like to introduce Cumberland College President and CEO, Dr. Mark Hoddenbaugh, bringing greetings on behalf of the College Board. Thank you, Ms. Gray. Hello students, families, friends, and all other enjoying this celebration. I'm pleased to bring greetings on behalf of our Board of Governors and staff, along with their congratulations on your significant accomplishment of completing your studies and graduating from your program. I'm honored to participate in this ceremony to recognize your achievements. In spite of a trying year dealing with the pandemic and to many a foreign way of learning in a largely online format, you excelled demonstrating resilience, dedication, discipline, and commitment. In addition to the knowledge gained in your program, these four character traits are an incredibly important component of your future success. Thank you for choosing to come to Cumberland College. Thank you for your persistence in completing your program. Thank you for your understanding and support as we navigated the tricky paths of a pandemic together. Thank you for participating in our efforts to introduce our blended learning model with its elements of face-to-face, -face, online, flexible, and experiential learning. As we continue to develop this model for future students, your engagement and feedback provided valuable data that will help us to continue to refine our model. For those of you moving on to employment, further studies, or other endeavors, I would like to wish you the best success and many blessings. May your time at Cumberland be remembered fondly and may the things you learn serve you well. For those returning in the near future, we look forward to continuing to encourage and support you as you further your education with us. I'm so proud of all of you for your great efforts and for attaining this incredible milestone. Best wishes for continued success and please come back to visit us. I now return the proceedings back to Ms. Gray. Thank you, President Haudenbaug. Bringing congratulatory messages, Melford MLA, Mr. Todd Gowdy. Hi there, my name is Todd Gowdy and I'm your MLA for the Cumberland College area. And just want to say that on behalf of the Premier, Scott Moe, and the Saskatchewan government, congratulations for your graduation this year. I know that things have been very different from the normal with all of the COVID restrictions and 
Uh, the teachers have done a great job, the staff, the students, you've, you've worked it through and we're very proud of you. Uh, it was a privilege to watch the scholarships being awarded, uh, a lot of familiar faces and names. It's so nice to be able to have a college in our own community. Um, I know I've got kids that I would love to have around, not to have to send your children to other communities to take their schooling. It's a real benefit. So sure appreciate all that you've done. Uh, we're very proud of you. You are the future of Saskatchewan. You establishing your career and your lives and your families uh, in our province. We are sure hoping for that and the government has, has put some finance behind that to try and incentivize to keep you here uh, with, our, with our student retention program uh, up to $20,000 if, if you can stay in our province, uh, build your life, um, follow up with your career here. We, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, in our communities and thank you for all you've done. Congratulations and all the best in your future. Thank you, Mr. Gowdy. Elder Ethel Lee Kobe bringing greetings on behalf of the Cumberland College Elder and Resident Elders. Good afternoon, students and staff of Cumberland College. I am Ethel Lee Colby. I work between the three colleges being Melford, Nippon, and Tisdale. I would like to extend a warm welcome and congratulations to all of the graduates on behalf of Métis Nation Eastern Region 2. I would like to acknowledge two of our First Nation elders that are no longer with us. They have now moved on to a new journey. Evelyn Burns and Louise Smokaday were two very dedicated ladies who shared their experience and expertise with our students and staff. They are missed by everyone and I know they would be honored to share the special day with you. With that being said, I would like to extend my personal congratulations to each and every one of the graduates. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy Elder Kobe. At this time in our program, please join me in welcoming Micah Daniels and the Iron Swing Drummers as they honor our graduates with the honor song.
Eco say, me gwitch, marci, merci, thank you, Iron Swing. Terry Thompson, Chair of Adult Basic Education and Essential Skills, will now join us in bringing greetings on behalf of the Adult Basic Ed and the Essential Skills programs. Welcome everyone. I have the honour today to present our Melfort and James Smith Adult Basic Education program. ABE is an opportunity for adults to come back to school, to complete their academic grade 12, or to upgrade the marks that they obtained in high school. Returning to school is often a difficult transition, especially this year, as they dealt with academics and the changing landscape of school with our blended learning environment. Our students returned and worked hard to create new opportunities for themselves and the future of their families. I want to extend my personal congratulations to the ABE graduates today. It is important to recognize the support provided by our ABE staff and our funders. On behalf of the Cumberland College and our graduates, I would like to thank our funding partner, the Ministry of Immigration and Career Training. Without their continued support, we would not be able to welcome these graduates today. Heartfelt thanks and appreciation is extended to the backbone of our, all of our programming, the ABE team, to our ABE instructors and tutor, Kathy Jones, Carolyn Staling, Mark Karen, Aaron Monchow, and Rhonda McQuarrie, I want to join the graduates in thanking you for all the work you have done this year to create a positive and supportive classroom, both virtually and live, and facilitating their educational goals. Thanks must also be extended to a vital part of our team, student advisors, Tara Nelson, Lindsay Moskal, and Brenda Hadland. I would be remiss if I did not also thank the team behind the scenes, Tim Verklin, our ABE program coordinator, and Heidi Grote, our program assistant. It is a blessing to be able to work with such a dedicated and student-centered team. Traditionally, we would be presenting certificates at this time. However, this year, graduates will receive one in the mail. I am pleased to turn this over to Carolyn Staling, who will introduce the Melfort and James Smith ABE graduates. Congratulations to all the graduates of Cumberland College in 2021. May you continue to dream, achieve, believe, and inspire. Hello, my name is Carolyn Staling. I am pleased to introduce the Adult Basic Education graduating class of 2021. Shania Blackman is currently undecided of her future career. Her favorite quote is one by Buddha, all that we are is a result of what we have thought. Ryan Brown aspires to become a chef. His favorite quote is one by Will Rogers, don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Jessica Custer plans on going into cosmetology. Her favorite quote is beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Serenity Deflad aspires to be a primary care paramedic. Her favorite quote is grow through what you go through. Carrie Francis Iron plans to go into nursing. Her advice for future students is work hard and never give up. It's worth it in the end. Mallory Kemp plans to obtain her Bachelor of Social Work. Her favorite memory is jumping over a fence to take a picture for a scavenger hunt activity. Lori McCollum will be taking the Continuing Care Assistant Program. Her favorite quote is one by John Lennon. Life is what happens when you're busy making plans. Andrew Morant is contemplating between youth care worker or taking a year off to work. His favorite memory is growing, learning with his classmates. They've all grown into successful students. 
Dawson Monroe plans to find a full-time job and eventually take the LPN course. Her favorite memory is learning to jig with elders Riley and Evelyn Burns. Alana Nelson aspires to become a nurse or conservation officer. Her favorite memory are the group activities which brought the connection back from online learning. Tari Olakozi's career plan is to become a nurse. Her advice for future students is to ask questions when confused. The staff are always willing to help. Megan Poach will start pre-social work through the University of Regina at Cumberland College in the fall. Her favorite quote is one by Jordan B. Peterson. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. Sharice Roang will be moving on to take the LPN program. Her favorite quote is never doubt what you can accomplish. Jenny Sanderson plans to become a home care aide. Her favorite memory is just enjoying the time learning differently. Emily Scarf plans to take a year off of school and then go to university to study social work. Her advice for future students is don't give up. Bradford Taylor plans to retire. His favorite quote is to walk in the love of God, to display mercy to others, to live with integrity. Galen Thomas plans to take the CCA program at Cumberland College. Her advice to future students is communication, ask questions, clarify, listen, have fun. Silver Okamasum plans to go to school in Melfort to become a CCA. Her favorite memory is struggling but then realizing everything will work out. Congratulations 2021 Adult Basic Education graduates. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. It is now my pleasure to introduce Andrew Morant, who will be giving the student address on behalf of the ABE graduates. Andrew is standing before you today as an example of where hard work, extreme diligence, extraordinary perseverance, and great attitudes can get you. He is an exemplary ABE student and an amazing role model to others. Good evening, everyone. I would like to start by thanking the staff at Cumberland College in Melfort, and with all of their help, we were able to achieve the unachievable, getting our grade 12 education. I would also like to, go, like to thank all of my friends who went out of their way to help me when I posted hectic Facebook statuses asking for help trying to figure out solutions so I could give the teachers a break. Achieving my grade 12 education has given me a better look at life and how it is filled with so many opportunities if you're willing to put in the hard work. Finally, I would like to say congratulations to my fellow classmates of 2021. We continued during a pandemic and we never gave up. I hope life treats all of you well and life is filled with amazing opportunities for you guys. It was an honor meeting all of you. Chair of Post-Secondary Education, Jeff Fisher, joins us in bringing greetings on behalf of the respective post-secondary education programs. Thank you, Bobby. Good afternoon, everyone. As Bobby mentioned, my name is Jeff Fisher and I'm the Chair of Post-Secondary Education at Cumberland College. I am extremely honoured to be here to represent the administrative staff, the support staff, the instructional staff, and most importantly, the students involved in post-secondary education programs at Cumberland College. 
The programs that fall under the portfolio of the PSE department include our trades, applied certificate, certificate, diploma, and degree programs. This year, we are proud to recognize students from the following post-secondary programs from our Melfort campus. Agriculture Sciences Certificate, Bachelor of Education, Continuing Care Assistance Certificate, Indigenous Access and Transition Education Certificate, and Practical Nursing Diploma. At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank the following Cumberland College Melfort staff members who are involved in post-secondary education and who were instrumental in helping our students reach their academic goals this year. Instructional staff, Janine Heinrichsen, Leah Kurzinger, Ashley Smith, Angela Turton, Brandy Wicks, Carol Joyce, Brenda Ives, Anne Boxall, Daniel Ferre, and Chidima Opara. Tutors, Chelsea Stonestand and Michelle Ferland Murphy. Advisors, Lindsay Moskal and Tara Nelson. Instructional designer, Kara Langell. Program assistant, Marie Crozen. And program coordinators, Michelle Ferland Murphy, Rebecca Bryson, and Kim Cross. I would also like to mention and recognize all of our university professors and instructors from the University of Regina, First Nations University of Canada, and the University of Saskatchewan who were involved in our undergraduate degree and IATEC programs, as well as Michael Relland and Brenda Mellon for their tireless work in our Bachelor of Education program, and Chris Philby for his contributions to the PSE programs in his business development coordinator's role. On behalf of those of us at Cumberland College, our appreciation and sincere thanks are also extended to our many partners and stakeholders who continue to support our various programs in so many different ways. To our provincial ministries and agencies, our credit granting institutions, our coalition partners at Parkland College, our numerous sponsoring agencies and employers, our many First Nation and municipal communities, our business and service group supporters, and to any other organization or individual who has supported Cumberland College or our students in any way over the past year during these challenging times, please know and understand that your contributions and ongoing support have not gone unnoticed and are greatly appreciated. Most importantly, it gives me a great pleasure to recognize and congratulate all of our students who make us all so proud for their successes and achievements, even in the face of so many challenges and adversity. We are extremely humbled that you as students have chosen Cumberland College for your educational needs, and we are pleased to celebrate your many accomplishments with you here today. I'm pleased to introduce the following staff members as they introduce our amazing students. Please welcome our instructor for our first ever Agriculture Sciences Certificate Program, Daniel Ferre, who will be introducing his students. Hello, my name is Daniel Ferre. I am pleased to introduce to you the Agriculture Sciences Certificate graduating class of 2021. Sky Denham Atten will be attending her second year at Lakeland College in Vermilion to complete her diploma. Sky's favorite memory is meeting her best friend. Israel Doyle. Israel plans to go back to the farm. Israel's favorite memory is lunchtime. Baxter Forsyth. Baxter plans to go back to work on the farm as well. Baxter's favorite memory is eating McDonald's for lunch. Logan Jesdal. Logan is going to go back to the farm. Logan's favorite quote is, if you love what you do, you won't work a day in your life. Ed 
Emmeline Hagman. Emmeline plans to go back to the farm. Her favorite quote is, if you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for anything. Connor Irving. Connor plans to go back to work on the family farm. His advice for future students is stay on top of your work. Reagan Lejoie. Reagan plans to finish the diploma program at Lakeland College at Vermilion. His favorite quote is age is just a number and standards are for grain trucks. Alex Manson. Alex plans to attend her second year at Lakeland College in Vermilion to complete her diploma. Alex's favorite memory is also meeting her best friend. Daniel McAdam. Daniel plans to go back to the farm and his favorite memory is getting two scholarships. Devin Mitchell. Devin plans to go back and continue operating the family farm. His favorite quote is difficult we can do, impossible will take a little longer. Colby Rain. Colby plans to find a job in the agricultural field. His favorite quote is you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And that is our graduating class for the Agriculture Sciences Certificate. I would like to express a congratulations to the entire class of the Agriculture Certificate Program. Job well done. At this time, I would like to introduce our Manager of Business Development, Brenda Mellon, who, in her former role as Manager of Marketing and Continuing Studies, was instrumental in overseeing our Bachelor of Education program. On behalf of our University of Regina Bachelor of Education instructional staff, Brenda will be introducing our Bachelor of Education graduates. It's my honour to introduce the 2021 Bachelor of Education graduates. This group of students completed a four-year education degree that was offered in partnership between the University of Regina and Cumberland College. Our first graduate is Michelle Allgrove. Michelle's future plans include securing a teaching position. Her advice for future students is enjoy your time with your fellow peers as they become some of your closest friends. Taylor Barnett. Taylor plans to search for a teaching job in her area. Her advice for future students is this is a great opportunity to be close to home. Tracy Bevan. Tracy plans to continue working for Saskatchewan River School Division. Her favorite memory is meeting some amazing people. Christina Sasai. Christina plans to enjoy the break from writing essays. She will work at the Early Learning Centre and then soon as a teacher. Her favourite memory is the late night art projects with Taylor Barnett. Shelley Ekron. Shelley plans to pursue a career in elementary education, hopefully in a rural setting. Her favourite quote is the only thing you can really control is how you react to things out of control. Frank Fazio. Frank's future plans include teaching at Carleton Comprehensive School in Prince Albert. His advice for future students is you control your education, be present and be intentional. Danica Fair. Danica is currently substituting within the Northeast School Division. Her advice for future students is do not be afraid to reach out and make connections. Going through a post-secondary program 
alongside others in a small class setting is such a great experience. Tanner Fetch. Tanner's future plans include traveling the world while educating youth. His advice for future students is enjoy the ride, it's over before you know it. Miriam Forche. Miriam would like to teach in rural Saskatchewan. Her favorite memory is the casual and friendly atmosphere that they had in their classroom. Dale Ginter. After graduation, Dale plans to obtain a teaching contract in the Prince Albert or surrounding area and work as a substitute teacher until then. His advice for future students is get to know the staff and the teachers. There are many opportunities and resources available for you at Cumberland College. Be sure to make the most of your time there. Caitlin Graham. Caitlin plans on finding a position in the Northeast School Division as an elementary school teacher. Her advice for future students is be who you are and enjoy the time you have there. It will be well worth it. Matthew Lewick. Matthew plans to get right into teaching as soon as possible. He's excited to take the knowledge and skills that he's acquired at Cumberland and pass it on to the next generation. Stevie Marshak. Stevie's plans include working towards a master's in education, finishing a sociology degree, and substitute teaching while obtaining both of those degrees. Her advice for future students is do not overwhelm yourself and take time for yourself. Jenny Mason. Jenny plans to teach while working on a master's degree in inclusive education. Her favorite quote is, being fair is not always being equal. Michelle Mosco. Michelle plans to substitute and continuing her education. Her favorite memory was her classroom and she said that they were great. Braden Olson. Braden plans to continue his education and graduate studies at the University of Regina. His advice for future students is working hard beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Brianna Sanderson. Brianna plans to obtain a permanent teaching position within the Northeast School Division. Her favorite quote is expect nothing and appreciate everything. Amy Scheidel. Amy is currently working at White Fox School covering a maternity leave in a 5-4 classroom. Congratulations, Amy. Shauna Schellenberg. Shauna is so excited to get into the classroom and begin subbing and teaching. She would also like to pursue a master's degree. Stephanie Shaw. Stephanie's future plans include finding a teaching position around the Saskatoon area. Her advice for future students is it's definitely a great choice for post-secondary education. The smaller class sizes offer a more comfortable and familiar feeling. If you're thinking about post-secondary, start at Cumberland College. Kimberly Slade. Kim's future plans are to enjoy a career in elementary or middle years teaching. Her favorite memories include getting to know her classmates and sharing their creativity with one another. Lydia Steffen. Lydia's future plans include putting her degree to good work in the community of Malfort. Her advice for future students is get involved where you can and engage with other students. Cordell Taves. 
Cordell hopes to teach in a middle or second year setting, preferably in math. His favorite memory was when he and Braden had the entire class put on glow stick wristbands and they whipped and nay nayed. Peyton Weiss. Peyton's plans are to enter the workforce as a certified teacher. Her favorite memory was when they did a college-wide scavenger hunt during orientation week. It was tons of fun. Laura Weens. Laura's plans include being a first-time mom and a substitute teacher. Her favorite quote is fittingly from Dr. Seuss. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more you learn, the more places you'll go. It is now my pleasure to introduce Lydia Steffen, one of the stellar graduates from the Bachelor of Education program, who will be giving this student address on behalf of the post-secondary graduates at Cumberland College. Good afternoon, my name is Lydia Steffen. We are here today to celebrate the graduating class of Bachelor of Education, class of 2021. It is an honor to represent you. Today we acknowledge our hard work and dedication and we celebrate our success. Every student in this class has their own story and we've all walked a different life path, but together we started this educational journey. Over the past four years, we have had many great visits, lots of laughter, and even some tears. We have celebrated new lives and new beginnings, and we've even mourned losses. What I value the most about this class is despite our diversity, we treated each other with kindness. We respected each other, and we encouraged each other to give our best. I believe it's for that reason that we see success. The friendships we have found here are blessings, and they will last a lifetime. We're not in denial. We know we did not do this on our own. And for that reason, our class would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that contributed to our success. We'd like to thank uh, the University of Regina. Especially, we would like to thank the staff at Cumberland College. Your guidance and support is appreciated. Your genuine concern and care for this class did not go unnoticed, and our cheering section at Cumberland College will be missed. Thank you. To our many instructors, we thank you for sharing your expertise and knowledge. You taught and encouraged us to question our thinking, to value different perspectives. You opened our eyes to our strengths and also our weaknesses, but it is for this reason that we are ready for the next chapter. Thank you. Our class would like to thank the communities that supported us with opportunities and scholarships. We especially would like to thank the schools and the teachers that opened up your classrooms and took us under your wing. Thank you for encouraging us through a very challenging year to complete our internships. Most importantly, we would like to thank our friends and families. Moms, dads, siblings, grandparents, husbands, wives, partners, and for some of us children. We asked you to show up and you did that in a big way. We cannot thank you enough for your love, your support, and definitely the sacrifices, because there were many. Without you, the dream of becoming a teacher would never have become a reality. To the graduating class of 2021, I would like to say this. I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you. Our success today is not just the degree we hold in our hand, but it is the journey that we took to get here. It was a good journey and take pride in that. This is a pretty sweet ending to a new beginning. I wish you all success. Remain humble, work hard, stay kind. Love you all. Thank you for the remarks, Lydia. At this time, I'd like to extend a big congratulations to the B.Ed graduates, as well as all of the Cumberland College grads. Best of luck to you all. Please now join me in welcoming our full-time continuing care assistant lead instructor, Carol Joyes, as she joins us to recognize her students. Hi, I'm Carol Joyes. Good afternoon. I'm here to introduce the CCA class of 2021, and it is my honor to do so. Uh, the first student that I'm going to introduce is Diana Aquino. Diana is a one of the students that uh, wants to actually become a paramedic. 
So she is uh, going on that kind of route after she finishes her CCA. The next student is Maria Alabeo. Uh, and Maria has, a, I just talked to her this morning actually, and she tells me that she has got a position in home care in Porcupine Plain. So that's an awesome uh, thing for, for Maria. As the next student is Marinella Alabeo. Uh, Maria and, Mar and Ella are sisters. And Marinella has actually got a job as well in Porcupine Plain working at Red Deer Lodge. The next student that will be up is Jessica Lutz. Uh, Jessica is um, trying to finish her CCA. She's going to work for a while and then maybe she'll go pursue her LPN career. Her favorite quote is, strive for progress, not perfection. Next up is Anne Medina. She is also planning to go into the LPN program. And her best quote or favorite quote is the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And Gandhi was the one that made that quote. Next, we have Reese Pache. And Reese has a favorite memory. And her memory is the days that were actually in class and she was with her, her classmates. Reese is going on to take the university course and her goal is to go into the RN program. Charisse Rowang. Charisse is from Hudson Bay and she is working there. Terry Sanderson is actually um, my la almost last student and she was very, very um, excited about the days that she got to spend with her classmates as well. She's excited to be a CCA and hopes to work in home care in NACOM. Cassandra Siemens is my last student from this year's class. And Cassandra has a big job this year because she is expecting a baby this month. So she'll be busy as a mom and then she'll be continuing on to do her CCA clinicals in, this, in the winter. So again, thank you very much for helping me to introduce my students and Congratulations to all of you. On behalf of our part-time CCA Malfort instructor, Chadima Opara, please welcome our post-secondary education coordinator for CCA programming, Rebecca Bryson, as she acknowledges students from that program. Hello, my name is Rebecca Bryson and I am a program coordinator with the post-secondary education department. It is my great pleasure to introduce the wonderful graduates from our part-time Continuing Care Assistant Program in Melfort, May Ann Barina. Conception DeMano. Her favorite quote is also her guiding life principle from Romans 8:28, And we all know that God causes things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Nastasha Gizi plans to work in a nursing home then go on to become a licensed practical nurse. Her favorite quote is that laughter and friendship will cure about anything. Merlinda Jamalas will apply to work as a continuing care assistant. Her favorite quote by Theodore Roosevelt is do what you can with what you have where you are. Malona Tombiga will be looking to expand her career through better opportunities. Her favorite memory of class time was making jokes with her classmates and potlucks after exams. To all the graduates of the part-time CCA program in Melfort, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Michelle Ferlin Murphy, post-secondary education coordinator responsible for Indigenous Access and Transition Education Certificate Programming, will now introduce our James Smith Cree Nation IATEC students. Hello, my name is Michelle Ferland Murphy. I am pleased to introduce the IATEC graduating class of 2021. Jessica Constant. Her career path is to become a lawyer. Jessica's words of inspiration are, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. 
Kelly Constant. Her career path is to take Indigenous social work. Kelly's words of inspiration are, when it comes to virtual learning during a pandemic, leave your cell phone alone. Shut it off and put it away. Charlene Head. Her career path is to receive her Bachelor's of Education. Charlene's words of inspiration are, when stepping out of your comfort zone, you need to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Shelly Sanderson. Her career path is to continue her education in early childhood. One day she would like to teach her own preschool class. Shelly's favorite quote is, she was powerful not because she wasn't scared, but because she went to so strongly despite her fear. Aaliyah Sanderson. Her career path is to complete her Bachelor's of Indigenous Social Work. Aaliyah's words of inspiration are, you are always going to have ups and downs. Study really, really hard and keep up with the material they are going to give you. Continue your education no matter what. Adam Sanderson. His career path involves a classroom. He would like to pursue teaching. Adam liked to learn from the comfort of his home. Online classes allowed him to become closer to his daughter. Camelia Sanderson. Her career path is to take early childhood education. Camelia's favorite memory from university is getting to know her classmates, learning together and helping each other. Lindy Sanderson. Her career path is to complete a degree in social work so that she is able to help and work with children and families. Lindy's words of inspiration are, don't give up. School can get really hectic and frustrating, but it is important to remain positive and encourage yourself when things get stressful. Always try your best. Sabrina Sanderson. Her career path is to take professional cooking. Sabrina's favorite quote is, we are better together because of the virus we face. Teresa Sanderson. Her career path is to take her Bachelor's of Indigenous Social Work. Teresa enjoyed the tutor sessions. In loving memory of our classmate and friend, Andrea Whitehead. Andrea's daughter wanted me to say a few words about her mom. Andrea's goal was to become a well independent teacher with a lifetime goal. Andrea had a goal and a mind unlike others. She was 100% strong and 100% intelligent. Andrea was well behaved and very professional. She wanted to continue her life as a teacher and watch her children grow. Andrea wanted nothing but a better world with great people. Andrea's legacy will forever be held with courage. This year, you have faced a lot of challenging obstacles. I knew you would overcome your hurdles and reach this moment. I am so proud of you all. Congratulations. Our lead instructor for the Practical Nursing Diploma Program, Janine Henrichen, will now introduce our graduates from the 2019 to 2021 Practical Nursing Program. Hello. I have the honor today to introduce you to the graduates of the 2020 Practical Nursing Program. On behalf of myself, Ashley Smith, and Leah Kersinger, we would like to extend to you our most sincere congratulations. We are very proud of each of you and would like to commend you on your flexibility and your commitment to finishing your nursing education 
while coping with a world pandemic. The COVID-19 lockdown in March of 2020 brought forth many challenges and moments of uncertainty for completion of the clinical experiences. But with the cooperation of our partners within the Saskatchewan Health Authority, we all worked together to meet your goal. Jessica Chabot. Jessica is currently employed as an LPN at Pineview Lodge in Nipawin. Jessica enjoyed the anatomy course in semester two, and her favorite memory was the cow eye dissection when learning about the human eye. Catherine Gramlich. Catherine plans to work in a rural or an integrated health facility. Her favorite part of the course was playing the Kahoot review games. She loved every single one of them and enjoyed the challenge they presented. Jennifer Mackay. Jennifer is currently working at the Nipawin Hospital. Her advice to future students is to never be afraid to ask for help. The instructors and staff care about your education and your success. Jade Damon. Jade plans to seek employment in the Melford area. Jade wants to share with you her favorite quote. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. Andrea Porter. Andrea's future plans are to work in healthcare. Her favorite memories of the program were the time spent at the Red Earth First Nations for the clinical experience and meeting her best friend. Bailey Rice. Bailey is currently working at Jubilee Lodge in Canistano. Her advice to future students, don't stress, work hard, but still have fun. Jody Seelstad. Jody's future career plans are to work in acute care. Her words of wisdom to future students are to never give up. Keep trying your best and giving it your all. Amber Trohack. Amber is currently employed at St. Paul's Hospital in Saskatoon. Amber's favorite part of the program was the acute care clinical experiences and the community clinical at Red Earth First Nations. Again, Congratulations to each of the graduates of the Practical Nursing Program. We wish you continued success in your careers as licensed practical nurses, wherever your career may take you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amber Trohack. I would like to start off by saying thank you for the opportunity to give the student address on behalf of my fellow classmates. The last two years have been truly life-changing for each and every one of us. I remember one of our first days of class, Janine warned us that this program would need to be a main priority in our lives for the next two years. She was definitely correct about that. I don't think any one of us could have made it through the long hours of studying, the late nights spent reading, or preparing for clinicals without the continued encouragement from our family and friends. I attended many family functions with my stethoscope in hand, ready ready to practice on whoever was there and I'm sure many of my fellow students can say the same. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for the patience and support you've given us. We would not be here without it. There have definitely been many ups and downs throughout this program. We have made lifelong friends, met amazing individuals in our clinical settings, but we have also cried in the supply room closet after a long day at clinical and had to navigate a new way of learning in a worldwide pandemic. Our instructors, Janine, Ashley, Leah and Angela have been our guiding lights through the unknown. They've taught us empathy and compassion while giving us the skills to go on to be incredible nurses. 
Their continued support through it all has never gone unnoticed. So on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge, sacrificing your time, and pushing us to be the best that we can be. My fellow graduates, as we continue on our new adventure, I hope we always take the opportunity to learn something new, continue to spread kindness and empathy with each one of our patients. The perseverance you've all shown through the trials and tribulations of not only nursing school, but adapting to a life-altering pandemic has paid off. I've learned something from each and every one of you. Bailey, your soft-spoken words bring patients ease in times of worry. Jade always brings a positive attitude to every situation. Jennifer always speaks her mind, which gave us all more confidence. Jessica's drive to do well and work hard was always present. Jody was always the most prepared for everything and we could always count on her for extra supplies. Catherine has such confidence in her abilities and knowledge, which she was always willing to share with everyone. Andrew was always willing to help anyone in a time of need. There are many other qualities about all of you that will continue to shine through in your new careers. Congratulations to everyone. I'm so proud of you all. We did it. This concludes the MC duties for today's event. Before Iron Swing closes with the victory song, we would like to acknowledge you once again for your impressive achievement as well as thank those who helped you achieve this goal today. We do not reach our goals alone, and it is that spirit of togetherness, community, and family that makes Cumberland College strong. We welcome you to thank those who have supported you throughout your educational journey, on our behalf, whoever they may be. On behalf of all of us here at Cumberland College, we thank you all for joining us for the 2021 Cumberland College graduation a celebration of your achievements with us. All the very best and hope to see you in person soon. Take care and be well, graduating class of 2021. We will never forget you and we hope that you never forget us. Please join me in welcoming back Micah Daniels and the Iron Swing Drummers to close today's virtual graduation event with the victory song. Eco say, mi guich, merci, merci, thank you.